Hello all and welcome back. So far we had been learning about liquid crystals which are actually defined as the condensed fluid phases with spontaneous anisotropy. And we also learned in our previous videos related to liquid crystals that on heating such compounds they undergo a change from highly ordered arrangement which is obviously a characteristic feature of the solids to the disordered isotropic liquids through their anisotropic phase that is called as liquid crystal state. Now such liquid crystals which are formed uh, with, uh, with respect to the change in temperature they were called as thermotropic liquid crystals and of course the ones which are formed due to the change in concentration they are referred to as lyotropic liquid crystals. That was a brief introduction of the classification of the liquid crystals that we had been learning during our previous videos. In our latest video, we learned about the smectic liquid crystals specifically. Today, my, stu my dear students, we will learn something about a new class of liquid crystals that is cholesteric liquid crystals. Cholesteric liquid crystals are a fascinating categorization from the liquid crystalline family that is largely due to its unique optical properties basically imparted by its helical structure. Now the name cholesteric originates from the fact that many of the derivatives of cholesterol are capable of forming this structure or rather they are capable of showing this phase of matter. These liquid crystals are also called as chiral pneumatic phase simply because since one of the necessary condition which is required for the formation of cholesteric mesophase is chirality. So far in our previous video we learned about the smectic liquid crystal and in the smectic liquid crystals we discussed that the molecules actually are arranged in layers. Yes, of course, the molecules, they form planes perpendicular to the axis of the mole uh, molecules and they tend to point along the director. And according to the angle which is formed by the molecules with respect to the planes in which they are arranged, then they are categorized into smectic A, smectic B and smectic C. Today, we will learn that in the cholesteric liquid crystal, actually what happens its structure can be described as twisted pneumatic structure fine it means that they have a structure similar to the pneumatic liquid crystals but what happens each plane of molecules is twisted slightly in relation to the plane above or below like for example we can see in the diagram that the lowest layer that, that the lowest plane actually carries the molecules which are aligned perpendicular to the plane in which it is kept, right? The plane above it carries the molecules which are aligned at a certain angle with respect to the plane in which they are arranged. Now, if we keep on moving above these layers, we see that another layer above it carries the molecules in a different direction. Similar pattern is repeated upwards as we move upwards slightly in the upper layers. The molecules again they change their director and finally we are able to reach a layer which actually carries the director same as where we started with. Now what is happening over here? Each layer has its own director. All these planes are there existing in a particular container having the cholesteric liquid crystal substance. And what is happening over there? Different layers are arranged and each layer has the molecules arranged in a different direction. That means each layer is carrying its own director. Okay, so the distance if we try to measure, actually this is why we say that the molecules, they, uh, they follow the helical path. Okay. If we try to measure the different distance as to what is the distance covered by the director when it actually reaches the same direction, that distance is called as pitch. So this is defined as a pitch. So the cholesteric phase is like the pneumatic phase. There is no big difference over there. 
why does it uh, is referred to as a nematic phase because it has long range orientational order with actually no positional order however this phase of matter differs from the nematic phase with the fact that the director it changes it varies in direction throughout the medium in a regular way that means the director is not fixed over here however in the nematic liquid crystals what happens all the molecules arranged wherever they are arranged they follow the same director which is actually not the case over here in the cholesteric liquid crystal because the molecules which are arranged in a different layer they follow a different director or let's say they are oriented in a different direction with a different angle so precisely speaking the cholesteric liquid crystal they have a structure that is similar to the nematic liquid crystal but each plane of the molecules is actually twisted slightly with respect to the plane above it or the plane below it so when proceeding in a direction normal to the plane what happens the director rotates continuously resulting in a helical structure this is what is happening over here this arrow denotes the director so in every plane the director is rotating the director is changing its direction the director is changing its angle with respect to the plane in which the molecules are arranged so the director is changing the angle this is why we say that the director rotates continuously resulting in a helical structure and the distance taken from the director to rotate one full turn in a helix that distance is called as a pitch this is the arrow we have marked over here as pitch now the, the distance from this point up to this point it is called as pitch okay now the pitch of common uh, cholesterics is of the order of several thousand angstrom and thus it can be said to be comparable with the wavelength of visible light right so the chiral nematic phase has a special ability to selectively reflect the light of wavelength which is actually equal to this pitch length in other words if we subject a certain light on a chiral molecule or the cholesteric liquid crystal okay molecule then what happens this phase has the capacity has the potential to selectively reflect the light which part of the light will it reflect the part of the light the part of the radiation which actually carries the wavelength equal to its pitch length so when pitch is equal to the wavelength of light in the visible spectrum then what happens the substance gives a corresponding color which is actually corresponding to the wavelength or let's say the corresponding to the pitch length okay it gives a corresponding intense color which is uh, visible to our naked eye okay so that is the feature of cholesteric liquid crystal and that is used in different applications also now it is observed that when suitably aligned and when the helical length scale is less than 1 microns then what happens the material it shows structural coloration in the uv visible near ir spectral region of the electromagnetic radiation that is actually being utilized in numerous engineering applications now the question arises uh, okay fine this is the pitch this length is called as the pitch can we uh, change the pitch or let's say if you change the conditions uh, if you change the environment of that particular molecule or that phase of matter can it affect the pitch can it affect the pitch length so let's see what happens over there actually what happens uh, this is the original pitch length which was actually there now i try to change the temperature of this particular substance fine let's see what happens i try to increase the temperature so when i increase the temperature then what will happen definitely the molecules they will acquire the heat energy which is imparted to them by the increase in temperature so the moment it happens the molecules they start moving with a greater kinetic energy and the moment they acquire the greater kinetic energy obviously they will rotate to a greater angle with time with each layer and hence the director will change very fast what will happen as a result when the director will change very fast in the consecutive layers then definitely we will be able to reach 
the same direction in a shorter span of distance. Okay, so in other words, the pitch length decreases. Okay, so this is what happens when you increase the temperature. The pitch length decreases. Why? Because the molecules in each layer, they acquire the heat energy due to which their kinetic energy increases and they will be able to rotate to a higher angle in each layer with respect to the molecules above or in present in the above or below layers. Okay, so as a result, the molecules will be able to reach the same direction as the first director in a shorter length of time. Okay, and yes, of course, in a shorter distance also. So in other words, the pitch length decreases. Fine. So this is what is happening over here. The director is changing and why this is happening because we have increased the temperature so we are able to reach the pitch in a shorter time you can see here very easily with the help of this figure you can see it uh, very easily over here with the help of this figure we have tried to depict the change in temperature and the pitch length so this was the this you can see very easily with the help of this figure so we have tried to depict the pitch length and the change in pitch length with the temperature so this is the original pitch length that we have marked with a red arrow now we heat that particular substance so definitely when you have heated the substance the cholesterol liquid crystal the molecules they move with a higher energy and where are they moving definitely in their own planes so when they are moving in their own planes what is the movement of course by default it will be the change in angle they will undergo a higher degree of change in angle as a result the increase in temperature leads to the decrease in pitch length now what is the case when you decrease the temperature you apply colder conditions okay so when you apply colder conditions the molecules as we also become uh, slow slothy so the molecules also obviously they become slow so with the decrease in temperature over here what will happen the molecules will rotate to a very smaller degree in every plane as a result you will be able to approach the pitch length particular pitch length in a greater length okay so the pitch length in other words increases with the decrease in temperature now these are the effects of temperature on the pitch length and they are very significant effects that we can also use in our various uh, engineering applications so these uh, the change in pitch length you, you can play with the pitch length so when we play with the pitch length we get very interesting applications with respect to the cholesterol liquid crystals this was the story about the cholesterol liquid crystals hope you enjoyed it